The TN New Homes dry fuel storage system at San Onofre holds 50 canisters of spent nuclear fuel. Dry fuel storage systems in the U.S. are initially granted a 20-year license by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. SCE loaded the first canister into the new home system in 2003, meaning its first 20-year license will expire in 2023. As part of relicensing the system, baseline inspections are performed that will help guide future inspections during the next licensing period of the system, which is 40 years. The science tells us that these canisters can't and won't degrade for a significant period of time longer than 20 years. So we start at 20 years to get our baseline so that we can see if changes occur. The inspections are part of an aging management program, which is required and approved by the NRC. The AMP includes inspections of all aspects of the dry fuel storage system. These inspections will be done every five years for the length of the renewed license. The inspections at Songs utilize three robots. The first robot enters through the inlet air vent and delivered a smaller pneumatic robot that uses suction to crawl over the canister surface. The third robot provides additional visuals of the process. The camera is used to capture 97% of the canister shell surface, as well as the interior of the storage module. And the cameras that we're using can, can characterize anything we find down with an accuracy of 1 thousand, one thousandths of one inch. And uh, they're just uh, uh, amazingly detailed and amazingly accurate. Orano, which built the storage system, utilized this robot system at three other dry fuel storage sites in 2020. The inspection team operates the robots remotely, watching the progress on large screens and documenting the findings as they go. Professional people know exactly what they're doing, each one with a, their own area of responsibility, each one operating a robot, all done remotely via camera, via, via joystick, and uh, tremendously accurate. The limiting factor for the service life of a canister is chloride-induced stress corrosion cracking, a slow process that would occur over decades, if at all. We selected the coldest canister, in other words, the one with the lowest heat load. We also picked the oldest canister, which is just slightly warmer than the coldest canister. Neither one is degraded now, but we still get the baseline inspection data so we can see the degradation if it occurs. Future inspections will look for staining, small indications called pits that could be an anchor point for stress corrosion cracking, and document the general condition of the canisters. The canisters did contain expected signs of contact from the time they were inserted into the storage module. These were examined as part of the inspection. They show no rust, they show no salt intrusion, they look exactly like when they occurred when they were in, when these were installed into the module. One of these two canisters will always be looked at during every inspection going forward. This process allows for any signs of degradation to be caught early and remedied before it becomes an issue. So, how did the canisters look after nearly two decades in storage? They look exactly like the way they were inserted. 17 and 18 years ago. There is no degradation. There is no indication of any issue that would make us take action at this time. The final inspection results will be incorporated into the aging management program, which goes into effect in 2023. The next inspections take place in 2026. If additional inspections are required in the future, they will be added to the aging management program.